well-known alliances and players in Game of Thrones Winter is Coming. They usually possess at least one outstanding quality. They are either exceptionally good-looking or unbelievably powerful. WEE is neither of those, but it has the ability to petrify the entire kingdom when it appears on the map, just like the wildlings in GOT. And that ability stems from the sagacity, which allows WEE to invent smart strategies, launch successful invasions, and ultimately boost merits of many kingdoms. Today, I will throw some light on strategies WEE used for you guys. After this video, you will know what WEE did and how to retaliate when facing them. Without further ado, let's get started. The general who wins the battle makes many calculations in his temple before the battle is fought. Tyrion assisted Queen Daenerys in capturing Castle Rock because he had great knowledge about the city. This story inspired WEE. Before immigrating to a new server, WEE always examined the kingdom thoroughly beforehand. Not every single kingdom can catch WEE's eye. The alliance prudently follows a set of rules when deciding on the next server to attack. Rule number one, choose a kingdom where the players are mostly unbubbled. Rule number two, assess the overall power of those who are unbubbled. Rule number three, keep track of their active and inactive periods. Rule number four, make sure there is no threat from strong alliances in the kingdom. Rule number five, kingdoms consisted of inexperienced players or alliances are preferred. This is because their reactions to the invasions are usually much easier to predict compared to the rest. Speed is the essence of war. Take advantage of the enemy's unpreparedness. Many players chose to retaliate after WE's attacks. But some of them would notice that they could not cause much damage to WE members no matter how hard they tried. Why? They might have been trapped in an empty fort because they need to teleport frequently from kingdom to kingdom. Most WE members control their army sizes within a certain limit. At the same time, to ensure their armies are as powerful as possible, they prioritize research and buffs over troops. Steel was one of WE members who had around 1.7 million troops. During an invasion, he sent out two teams. One team went to attack the enemy's hive, and the other one launched a rally while the rest of the troops were hidden in shelter. Remember to hide the Lord as well, a lesson learned from the blue. <laughs> then, Steel activated Kafil and allowed the enemies to hit his castle to convince them his castle was empty. Now, all he had to do was to wait patiently until the enemies tried to attack him as his attacking army returned. Right before the army returned, Steel quickly disbanded the rally and recalled all troops back from the shelter. Enemies only expected his attacking troops, but ended up with an overwhelming amount of 1.7 million troops. Though this tactic resulted in thousands of wounded soldiers in his hospital, Steel was able to kill them all within seconds as he made sure enough beds were in place. WE members used this strategy repetitively, and in most cases, they managed to capture the enemy's lords and earn tons of merit points. All warfare is based on deception. Hence, when we are able to attack, we must seem unable. WE knows exactly how to deceive the enemy. Let's take a look at what the baby did. First, he asked his alliance members to transfer some resources to his castle, and then he launched one attack with just one troop and one dragon. Having a dragon in the army is necessary to make sure the animation looks the same. He tricked the enemies into believing that the baby sent out his main army. By the time the enemies arrived at his castle, they were surprised at how many troops and commanders were marking time there. Besides those I've mentioned, do you know any other good tactics that WE used or any counter tactics? Please share with me in the comments. WE succeeded not only because they learned these tactics, but also because they understood the importance of modifying tactics to adapt to different circumstances. Let me close today's video with another quote from Sun Tzu. All men can see these tactics whereby I conquer. But what none can see is a strategy out of which victory is evolved.